Hey guys, this is Cheney180, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Moon Knight figure from the new Spider-Man Homecoming Wave. I was lucky enough to have my buddy the DMC hit me up and tell me to order these on Amazon the other day. So go check out his YouTube channel, DMC Studios. So, my initial impressions of the figure, I like it a lot. I really haven't been able to put it down. It's uh, got good articulation. Paint isn't that crazy, um, but it comes with a lot of accessories, and you really get a bang for your buck with this thing. Now, we've seen the hood used before. We've seen the head used before, but these are pretty much new body parts from what I can tell. Um, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I apologize. But the cape is really cool. I wanted to stress that. It's, I don't know, it's just something that they did with it that they haven't done before. Uh, it doesn't necessarily get in the way all that much, but let's get into the accessories. So he comes with this uh, We've all seen this before the daredevil staff here that breaks into two pieces Which is pretty cool. He comes with two sets of hands, which is you know pretty awesome for a Marvel legend now one of them will hold his uh, Kind of boomerang thing here as you can see and as you can see, the wrist hinge there goes up and down instead of side to side. Now for the fisted hands, the hinge goes side to side. And on the fisted hands, he comes with these little tiny moonerang, boomerang things and they fit. They come with holes inside of the fists for you to plug those in there. And he comes with three total, so you can fit, you know, three of them in there. Uh, they're really tiny. I'm not gonna take all that time up there, but they're you know they, shit. If you're looking at them wrong, you would think they might be a clipped fingernail or something. I don't know, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the articulation on the figure. Now with the cape on, actually, you're able to move him around very easily. It doesn't restrict movement of him. Now there's a peg back there, but you can unlock the peg and get it to move around however you see fit. Now we go side to side, we've got a little bit of pivot there, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the cape for articulation purposes. But as I said, you can look up, look down. Now the arms, I thought that these shoulder pads here were going to prohibit the movement, but they tuck right in. You get no issues they go right up no problem all the way around you get a bicep swivel double hinge elbow swivel at the wrist and the fisted has a side to side hinge and the opened gripping hand has the up and down hinge ab crunch goes down that far goes back that far we do get a waist swivel in there and these belt pieces don't really prohibit it, even though this piece kind of fell out. So I may want to put a little piece of glue in there, pop that back in there. Legs go out that far, they go up that far, back not that far. We've got a thigh swivel, double hinge knee, no boot cut there. But you do get this cool little ball joint ankle piece here that we got with Taskmaster. And I believe we got it with Old Man Logan as well. <clears throat> So you can get this guy's leg to go pretty much in any position you want, you know. It's just a normal ball peg, so you can get a lot of movement out of it. I'll go ahead and put the cape back on here. And as you can see, it doesn't, you could still look down with the cape, and you could still look up with the cape, and it doesn't, it doesn't really get in the way really nice that's one thing I do really like about this figure a lot it's a little bit long but still pretty cool now let's go ahead and do a size comparison we've got teenage buck spider-man there we've got pretty much the bucky cat mold there we've got polaris here and then we can go with uh, Tombstone, which his review should be up next or afterwards, sometimes afterwards. And the new uh, Spider-UK Body Buck, which is the Cosmic Spider-Man. 
so as you can see he's got a decent height to him he comes with a lot of accessories uh, I would definitely recommend the figure if you're a Moon Knight fan this is a must have <clears throat> Uh, excuse my voice, I'm starting to go out again. But definitely pick up the figure. For 20 bucks, you get a bang for your buck. You get two sets of hands, you get a bunch of accessories. An overall really good figure. I was surprised. I didn't think I'd like this figure as much as I do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to leave me a comment, click like, and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.